On the 27th of November 2013, as part of a symposium, Holig presented the latest stage of development of the new PBSS socket technology. The background to the new development is that socket technology has played a somewhat minor role in modern prosthesis development. The basic plaster cast of the stump has, until now, provided the basic form for the resulting socket. We all know that with the mold grip, for example, soft tissues move uncontrollably. Additionally, the wrapping techniques differ just as much as the unequal stretching of the plaster bandages. The shape of the plaster cast, the form measurement simply cannot be reproduced, even when it is carried out by the exact same technician. The Polig Bionic Socket System, or PBSS for short, is the result of two and a half years of research and development work. Right from the start, we have been striving towards a bionic solution, or the technical implementation of biological processes. Firstly, these are highly specialized methods. Here we are departing from the traditional manufacturing techniques used previously. We have of course noticed internally that if you ask for your stump to be measured by 10 different technicians, you will get 10 different measurements. That makes it more difficult to draw certain logical deductions from that. Therefore, we wanted to find a new mode for the procedure in which we used a contact-free stump mode, and then used the results that we gained from that to develop new methods for how we move from the cast to the model. At the pre-launch of the Kapinski Hotel in Munich, Germany, Physicians, researchers, developers and engineers gave short presentations about the fundamental principles of operation. Alongside the current state of development of the system, experts also presented the first clinical results. The optimized measurement method and demonstrated would be possible in the future with the new system. Exciting! I am a new user myself and I will now in all probability receive one of these sockets. And I'm very excited about that. I assume that it will give me a lot, and I'm really looking forward to being able to participate in something new. Of course, I can now walk better, and much more intensively than before, particularly with the new prosthesis. As someone affected by this, as someone who has a prosthesis, I am definitely of the opinion that there will be a lot more of these puzzle pieces falling into place for us. I am so convinced by this that I will make a great effort to ensure that I get one. Already, sockets are being developed from the values identified with a previously unparalleled fit and level of precision. Using sonography, both the muscle fibers and gaps in the muscle can be represented in both a relaxed and a tense condition. Stabilizers that are integrated into the socket will activate the muscular system. For each patient, we produce an entirely unique socket, of which there is only one in the world, just like a fingerprint. Furthermore, getting into and out of the socket has been made considerably easier due to the special shape of the socket. Amongst other things, the dynamic shape change of the stump is taken into account. A polytherm element uses sensors to ensure a climatically comfortable temperature level. As a result, the leg stump will feel comfortable in the prosthesis, regardless of the external temperature. The biological role model for this is the heat transfer principle at work in the feet of ducks. Phantom pain should be minimized by, amongst other methods, the incorporation of acupuncture pressure units. The role model here is traditional Chinese medicine. The highlights of the symposium were the success stories from patients who are already testing the new technology in their everyday life. I have had phantom pain since my amputation. The big toe stings an awful lot every four weeks, and the lateral ankle joint has remained with me to this day. Every four to six weeks, there is an attack which I can really only combat with a very high dose of tremor drops. Then it goes again. Since I have had the PBSS socket, I haven't had any more phantom pains. It has been about eight weeks now. In terms of power transmission, this socket is clearly better than my other socket. 
socket. Before now, I had an MRS socket, and that one was also not bad. But now, this one is clearly better with power transmission. My experience is that the control of the prosthesis has increased. The level of comfort when sitting has become considerably better. It can't be compared with my old socket. Riding a bike, bending down, sitting on the toilet, these are all things that contribute considerably to a level of comfort that I didn't know beforehand. And I must simply say that this prosthetic socket technology gives my life a new quality. It just gives me more energy for the day. I can work in a more concentrated manner in my job. In my daily life, I just don't need to concentrate as much when I'm walking. I can turn towards the person I'm talking to. And that is a huge win for me.